Guess what, guys? This, our Nigerian woman, has shocked the world. Hello? Nigerian woman will shock everybody. Everybody is wondering where is this woman coming from? Who give her this kind of sense? Who get this Nigerian woman this kind of sense? A woman again for that matter. Nigerians today, tomorrow and forever will continue to shock people with amazing results, amazing accomplishments and amazing achievements. We need to respect them by force, whether we like it or not. You get the point now. So, let's look at what this our Nigerian sister just did. Americans and Europeans are shocked. This our Nigerian mama literally shocked Americans and Europeans. They themselves, they want to study her. It has gone to the point where they want to study the mama, they want to study her. Where is this kind of intelligent woman coming from? She becomes the first black woman in the world. The first black woman in the world to back a PhD in cybernetics. Cybernetics. You can know it to be cybernetics. Don't worry. I know there's plenty of us mumu like me here. But I go explain now it to be cybernetics. Because when I see the news, the trend. When I saw the information trend, I might have was confused. What is cybernetics? I said, no, let me go and check it and learn it before I even come to talk about the update or celebrate the news with my fellow Nigerians in the building. And thank you guys for sharing. It's one of you that shared this information with me. And I'm really excited without my brother. Guys, keep bringing it on. When you see great things Nigerians are doing, share them to me. Let's talk about it. It's not every time they will talk about Nigerian Yahoo boys, Nigerian this. Let us talk about positive things that Nigerians are doing. You understand? So, this is our Nigerian woman. Her name is Professor Rose Margaret Ekeng Etwa. Ekeng Etwa. I don't know how to pronounce her Nigerian name. My bad. My bad. But let's just call her for now Professor Rose Margaret. You understand? Make we just limit her for that level. Professor Rose Margaret. I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. How she achieved this incredible record that has shocked many Americans and Europeans. Guys, let me remind you, she's the first black woman in the world. The first, some of you will be saying, oh, oh, is it what talking? Is it what celebrating it? Is she blah, blah. Yes, is the first black woman in the world to have PhD in cybernetics. The first black woman in the world is not an American. It's not a Ghanaian, it's not a South African. Is not a European, is a Nigerian, the first black woman in the world to have a PhD in cybernetics is a Nigerian. Cybernetics is a modern technology. A modern technology whereby let me just explain it in the layman terms. Normally, as human beings, we have a system where our brain is wired, the way our brain transmits information from your brain to your cells through your nervous system, to the, you know, the mechanism which your brain and your body is transmitting information. You understand? We have it in the human body. But cybernetics is the, is the same thing, but in machines. That means this woman gets PhD. She understands how information is being transferred in electronics. That means how your TV go take receive signal. How your electric car will take understand to drive how information is transferred amongst robots amongst machines amongst you know heavy equipment heavy machinery this woman gets phd she has a phd in that domain you cannot take it for granted you understand so it's a scientific study of how information is communicated in machines and pieces of electronic equipment in comparison with how information is communicated in the brain and the nervous system. So it's like comparing human being with machine. This mama get PhD. So she's a pioneer educator. She didn't get this PhD in Nigeria though. She went to the UK and she triumphed. She dominated over the UK people. She can't beat them. She can't be the top, the number one, the champion. Hello. That's how she got to the level where she is. Right now, this woman is a technological engineer. She, she, she's an engineer with over 20 years of experience in this domain of technology. That means she's a multiple award winner. 
both from UK and, and America, all over Europe, they recognize her as one of the best and one of the biggest in the world. She is a brain. Her brain just too much. I don't even think Africa need her now because Africa has not even got to, the, to this level. So she earned a primary degree at the University of Reading in the United Kingdom under supervision of one of the best PhD people that we have in the world, Prof. Kevin, you get the point now. So, Rose Margaret Etwe is a multi-award winning professor in engineering over 20 years. So, she's celebrated all over the world, in America, in the UK, in Europe, everywhere. People talk about her because of this amazing success that she has achieved. Now, I want to ask you one question. Is it not worth celebrating? Is it every day, women in particular, our African women, we are still in the age where some Africans still believe that their women should be in the kitchen. Their women should you know, not go far, further in school. Their women should stick to certain levels. When you see a woman at this standard, celebrate. She deserves to be celebrated. And that's why one of her goals is to encourage Africans, especially girls in Africa, to pursue education, to pursue their, their careers, to become powerful women, influential women in the society. So I think that this, our mama, deserves lots of celebration. These are the kind of people the Nigerian government should call and celebrate them. Let them be able to impact Nigerians who are still down there in Nigeria because not everybody will go to UK or America to get this kind of knowledge. It is what it is. That's why I said to myself, it's worth talking, it's worth celebrating. What do you guys think about it? Let me know at the comment section. And of course, don't forget, when you see any good news about Nigeria, rush to my inbox or comment section. I will definitely reply your comments and we go vibe together as one brother and one sister. We are together guys. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free because there's always more beautiful and amazing content just for you. God bless you all. Cheese!